Hey y'all. Oh, I'm headed between buildings. And I thought I'd take this arrangement home. Isn't it pretty? Doesn't it look real? It's not. It is um, something that I got online. And I think it was from, was it from Hoshow? I think it was. And I don't know how I lucked out. Is it Hoshow or Grandin Road? Anyway, I got like a deal. <laughs> and, um, because normally the ones that are this realistic and pretty and full and blah, 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 they're like three, four hundred dollars, some are six hundred dollars. Those are good silks. They're very believable. They have the faux water. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, so they're normally pretty expensive, I guess. And um, this one wasn't. Now, it was right around a hundred bucks, so it's not cheap. But any silk arrangement, especially when they're pre-done with this acrylic water look, isn't cheap. So, anyway, you can see, I'll put it by my face so you can see about how big it is. Um, but anyway, I'm working on my new filming area for my Bible study series. And I apologize, y'all, I'm taking so long. But it's a lot of work to get that room packed up moving out all the stuff that's in there and then set it up and i want to have it nice it doesn't have to be perfect it'll probably be just like my current backdrop i'm always changing it for the season or something like that so y'all look how good my parking place was this morning that's me how did i look out somebody pulled out right as i was pulling in yeah that's pretty good we'll take it anyway so, um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh, uh, more work before I get off this filming with you. But I just wanted to say, hey, I'm sorry I haven't been doing much from that wasn't that isn't vlogging. Um, I have been super duper busy. That's weird. At night, that's really weird. I wonder what caused that. My uh, little middle thingy. Whoops. What do you call the middle thingy? Console was um, up. I know what it was. My briefcase this morning. Gosh, y'all, it's so hot. I'm going to have to let some of this heat out and cut the air off. Oh, and I accidentally cut my wipers on. My goodness. Um, watching for people as I back up. Have y'all missed me? Anyway, um, so yes. What was I saying? Oh, I need to let that out more. It's really hot. It's 97 degrees. What? You know, it's really weird because in the fall, it starts looking kind of like, um, Kind of starts looking like it's rainy-ish or gray-ish and so you think it's wet but it's not everything gets dried out everything like um my um i did some new arrangements by my mailbox they're almost dead that's one of the reasons why i have these water bottles i just grabbed a couple of water bottles when i was headed out this morning to try to give them a little extra water to make it through the day Oh my gosh, it was 97 degrees? That can't be right. That had to just be what the car is. Well, now it's saying 95. Still, it's over 90 degrees. And it just, it's so weird because it looks like it's cooler. You know what I mean? It's got, the sun is, um, it looks different. It looks more golden than in the spring or the summer. Have y'all noticed that the sun's different? I wonder what Malama Mew that is. I just made up a word. Malama Mew. Malama Mew? I don't know. Let's make up a word for when something's very unusual. A, a malady? A, what was I thinking? See, I'm just going to start making up my own vocabulary. Yeah, that's what you do when you can't think anymore. Make up new words. 
that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start making up new words. <laughs> um, so, uh, I also have really, really, really got to work on, um, I've got to work on my, um, this is so funny, y'all. The guy that's directing traffic is telling people to go, and they're just sitting there, and he's looking at them. He's funny, y'all. He walks up to the car and goes, it's so funny. This guy always has a little bit of personality, if you know what I mean. But anyway, so, um, what was I talking about? Oh, I've got to uh, change out my closets, and I've just realized that whatever I really and truly haven't used in a year, I'm not going to. And I keep thinking, yeah, but those are tank tops, and those are jackets, and, you know, but that's not the way I dress anymore. Uh, we went casual at work and it just, it makes you think, yeah, but I don't want to get rid of expensive jackets because my jackets are like from, um, Coldwater Creek. These ain't cheap jackets. Um, seriously, I keep getting so many notifications. It's just truly an annoying. I'm going into different apps that I have that, you know, they say you have to send you a notification and blah, blah, blah. No, they don't. They're trying to keep you engaged, just like the news. Y'all, y'all so sick of the news trying to keep you engaged by sending all these shkung on your phone. That was weird. Uh, they're testing the new watering system at that location. It's under construction and it just shot my car with water. <laughs> anyway, um, but it's like weather updates and news updates and everything's got to be sensationalized and dramatized. And now there's enough drama going on in this world and trauma and tragedy going on in this world that you could literally have that thing going off 24 seven and it is becoming that. And I'm just thinking, I like having a news app, but I think I'm going to cut off all the notifications. Here's the only thing. The reason I cut them on was because if there was, a, you know, after 9-11, if there was a tragedy, I wanted to know about it. And um, that's why I think we all are so tied to our phones now is we all started wanting news updates. And I used to have to go look in a, a conference room at work at one of the TVs or uh, now there's monitors in most companies, not just ours, that run 24-7. It usually has the news on. And it's because of 9-11. We never had that mentality before. And um, now that you have your phones, we're totally tied to our phones. And I think between Google and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and um, the media, they're all tied into knowing where you are, keeping up with you, and keeping you tied into them at all times. And it does make me wonder if it's going to be a part of the end times, I'll be honest. Um, I wonder if it's a setup for knowing where we are and what we're doing. And, um, you know, hopefully I'll be in heaven by then. Uh, because a lot of people believe that we'll be raptured before any of the bad stuff happens. That's not true. Um, yes, we will be raptured. There is scripture to support it. Only one or two. Um, but there's also scripture to support that beforehand, it's going to get real bad before Christ returns. So, uh, and we're already seeing that. We're already seeing what um, used to be right is being called wrong. What's being, what we, we know is wrong is being called right. What used to be called, um, I mean, a lot of the biblical signs of the end times have been fulfilled. There's a few that have not. Uh, if y'all ever want to do a Bible study on that, uh, it doesn't have to be a depressing thing. I have a friend that he, he never wants to talk about the end times because he's terrified. And yes, it isn't going to be pleasant. It's not going to be pleasant at all. But we must be informed and um, so that you'll know what's happening when it does happen. You know what I'm saying? And uh, also, it's it's a time that you trust in the Lord to say, you know what? Um, here's the bottom line. 
we look forward to Christ's return because we want him to come back and end all this, y'all. But even then, it, that isn't the end. That's what people don't realize. That's not the end either. Um, gosh, I, my notifications while I'm talking to you are going off on the screen. You can't see them constantly. It's so distracting. Yeah. Even friends' texts. Um, but anyway, I just forgot to go to the other building before I went home. Oh, well, I was just going to stop and, and, and anyway, it don't matter because I'm just going home. I'm taking what I was going to work on with me anyway, so it's okay. It's okay. We'll make it all work out in the end. Um, uh, it's interesting. A pink bus marked pain. Normally when you see pink buses or some pink things, it's for breast cancer awareness. Let me tell you something. If you are not aware of the the horrible problem of breast cancer by now, what planet are you on? I think what it does is help keep it at top of mind. So we'll give money. And um, that money can be used for research and it can be used to help offset uh, expenses for those who need help when they get breast cancer. So I guess it's still important to have pink things around to remind us what's going on, but because it's just so, such a high level cancer, you know? Anyway. Do you know I think that heart disease is even higher and I see why. I really am beginning to wonder about my heart, y'all, because just a little walking around is really starting to get me winded. And so I'm kind of wondering if that's the case, do I got to get my weight off before I exercise or exercise a little bit as I go or whatever. I have been doing so much better about the way I'm eating. I just still got to cut back the amount and start raising my exercise. Um, I found out that my little footsie is probably bursitis, which is no fun. So I've got a little foot pad that I wear kind of right under the pe the, the the ball of your foot where you know it's got fatty there or fatty and muscle right there well there's also a lot of nerves under there and bursa and they're like a thin shouldn't even know it exists until they're inflamed and then they can make you very miserable so it may not have been a morton's neuroma we're not sure so i am um doing some physical therapy exercises to stretch out my calf and my shin to help the bursa in my toes. Does that make sense? We're also connected in the body. You know that's true in the Bible too. We're very connected in Jesus Christ, the body of Jesus Christ, which is the church. And each person is needed. Each person does something different. And the Bible even gives uh, body parts and says, you know, the hand still needs the eye and the, and the leg still needs the mouth and the ears still need the nose. And all of it must work together to be the body. And that's true about the church. Believers, we need each other to work together. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.